Again in Ireland, Indigenous Cause, welcoming you to a substitute teacher edition of our math exploration. Today, we will be looking at different types of quadrilaterals. And yes, I am still watching you. So those of you in the back, make sure you're paying attention. Yes, Billy Joe, if you're present today, you'll see more videos of me. And again, a chimi glitch to Mr. Sprague and Miss Skyler for holding down the fort while I have stepped out today. But I'm going to lead off today with a video from Khan Academy on the topic, and then we'll go through the worksheet that you'll be doing. Quadrilateral, be as specific as possible with the given data. So it clearly is a quadrilateral. We have four sides here. And we see that, two, that we have two pairs of parallel sides, or we could also say there are two pairs of congruent sides here as well. This side is parallel and congruent to this side. This side is parallel and congruent to that side. So we're dealing with a parallelogram. Let's do more of these. So here it looks like the same type of scenario that we just saw in the last one. We have two pairs of parallel and congruent sides, but all the sides aren't equal to each other. If they're all equal to each other, we'd be dealing with a rhombus. But here they're not all equal to each other. This side is congruent to the side opposite. This side is congruent to the side opposite. That's another parallelogram. Now this is interesting. We have two pairs of sides that are parallel to each other, but now all of the sides have the e have an equal length. So this would be a parallelogram, and it is a parallelogram, but they're saying to be as specific as possible with the given data. So saying it's a rhombus would be more specific than saying it's a parallelogram. This does satisfy the constraints for being a parallelogram, but saying it's a rhombus gives us tells us even more. Not every parallelogram is a rhombus, but every rhombus is a parallelogram. Here, they have the sides are parallel to the side opposite, and all the sides are equal. Let's do a few more of these. What is the type of this quadrilateral? Be as specific as possible with the given data. So we have two pairs of sides that are parallel, and or we have, I should say, one pair. We have a pair of sides that are parallel, and then we have another, we have another pair of sides that are not. So this is a trapezoid. But then they have two choices here. They have trapezoid and isosceles trapezoid. Now an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid where the two non-parallel sides have the same length. Just like an isosceles triangle, you have two sides have the same length. Well, we can see these two non-parallel sides do not have the same length. So this is not an isosceles trapezoid. If, it, if they did have the same length, then we would pick that because that would be more specific than just trapezoid. But this case right over here, this is just a trapezoid. Let's do one more of these. What is the type of this quadrilateral? Well, we could say it's a parallelogram because all of the sides are parallel. But if we wanted to be more specific, you could also see that all the sides are the same. So you could say it's a rhombus. But you could get even more specific than that. You notice that all of the sides are intersecting at right angles. So this is, if we wanted to be as specific as possible, this is a square. Let me check the answer. Got it right. So some of the things you may have noticed there is amongst our friends here, and let's make this a little larger for you, a square and a rhombus are very much related because of this fact that all four sides are the same length. And when we talk about the same, we use the word congruent. Um, a rectangle and a parallelogram are very much related. The difference is with a square and a rectangle that all the angles are 90 degrees. These are right angles. So they run perpendicular to each other. Uh, for a parallelogram, it's a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel and equal. So these two and these two, as you heard. Now, if you make all of those um, parallel and equal and the angles are 90, it'll be a square. A rectangle has all four sides are, well, four angles are all 90, opposite sides are parallel. Rhombus, all four sides are the same length. So make this, make these all three and you get a rhombus. Make them all three with a 90 degree angle. Now you have a square. 
and then a rectangle is if the opposite sides are congruent, but they're not all four. And a trapezoid, just two parallel sides. And a kite has two pairs of adjacent sides that are congruent. And adjacent means they're next to each other. So these two are congruent. And these two are congruent. So they could theoretically stretch out. So let's, we're going to do both sides today. And you're going to want to notice that um, things can be more than one when we get here. So if we had a square, well, if we're asking for a rhombus, something that's a square would also be a rhombus. So there can be a little mixture of two things here. And you'll answer with using the letters. But let's scroll up and let's identify each of the quadrilaterals. In order to make this work, what I will do is you have the paper in front of you, so you can use the top here. I'm going to ask side A. We're going to, I want you to. I'm going to ask you to pause for about one minute. Uh, in fact, I'll just count a minute here, so you won't have to pause the video in the classroom, and then we'll go over those answers. So take a minute right now, and see, let's see how you do. Could be on B by now. All right, hopefully you can hear that music, the Jeopardy theme music in the background here. So let's look at A. So we look here and we can see that opposite sides are congruent, but they're not all four the same. These do appear to be 90 degree angles. So what would we call them? If you said a rectangle, you are correct. Let's actually get a better color than yellow for the others. All right, this one, we have opposite sides. Here are parallel. These two are not. So when we only have exactly one pair of parallel lines, we can rule everything out but a trapezoid. It's the one that looks funky, to be honest here. Yes, funky is a technical term. All right, now C would be a little tougher. Without a ruler, you can't be 100% sure. But for this one, let's assume that all four lengths are the same. They're not 90 degree angles. So if all four um, sides are the same, the opposite sides are parallel, but not 90 degree angles, we have our friend the rhombus. So... Hopefully you did well in here. Um, if you wrote parallelogram on this one, I take that. Uh, let me exit there here. Uh, just because it does look similar, as does the rhombus. All right, so let me clear that screen there for you. Let's take a moment to look at the back side, that side you're going to do. You can see the letters. So if they ask you which figure is a rectangle, remember too, is a square not also a rectangle? Dun, dun, dun. Yes, yes it is. So when you ask for what's a rectangle, you're going to need basically everything that has opposite sides parallel and congruent with 90 degree angles. And there may be more than one. In fact, I'm going to tell you there is. So you write down the letter for every one that you believe is a rectangle. So you can see they're labeled A through M. Just write A, B, C, whatever it is. If there's 
if the answer happened to be A, B, F, L, and G, then you'd write all of those. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to complete this. You're going to turn it in. You can see the triangles is coming up in a future episode. That'll be in person, I hope. And make sure you turn it in. Uh, Malachi, just here as a reminder, put your name on the paper. I am keeping an eye on you. And uh, if you have any questions, you have a group of awesome people in the room today. And I look forward to seeing you all on Monday. Bye-bye.